Hello guys, this is Lei. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a beautiful mirror I made yesterday. Let's get started. The first item I use for this project is the hula hoop I got from Dollar Tree. As you guys can see in the video, I used two sizes. The smaller one is about 20 inches. The bigger one is about 28 inches. The next step is to prepare a round board as a base of the mirror. I used the tri-fold project board from Dollar Tree, it worked pretty well. You certainly can consider other options if you want. I firstly traced out the exact size of the board I wanted for the mirror and used the electrical scissor to cut it off. It's pretty easy to do. the X6000 and hot glue gun to glue two hula hoops onto the board. This step is also easy, you just want to make sure you use sufficient amount of glue and also try to position the smaller hula hoop in the middle of the board. I want to show you another two items I used for this mirror. The first one is a little plastic pot from Dollar Tree. They are for St. Patrick's Day celebration. I used them in a recent side table DIY project and turned out very beautiful. The second item are the cone holders from Dollar Tree. Those cone holders come in different sizes in each bag. I only use the green ones for this project. I also use those cone holders made a beautiful wall mirror recently. Check it out if you're interested. Next, I want to show you how I laid out those little pots and cone holders on the board. Basically, I did two layers. For each layer, I evenly laid out those little pots and separate them by cone holders. For the first layer, I used 22 little ports and 22 cone holders as well. For the second layer, I used 16 little ports and 16 cone holders. You certainly can play with different patterns here. For example, only use little pots or separate them in a different way. There is a lot of fun exploring those designs. Surely uh, the pattern I wanted, I started to glue those little parts onto the board. I used hot glue gun for this step, but you can consider using strong adhesive as well. Initially, I wanted to spray paint the whole pattern in gold color, but I decided to give a little bit of contrast. So I 
took out the cone holders and spray painted them in silver color and spray painted the rest in gold color. When they all dry, I put the silver cone holder back into the original design. Again, I want to mention if you want to keep the cone holder in gold color, I think it's going to look beautiful as well. Next step is to attach some craft mirror on the top of the little pots. Those craft mirrors about two inches in diameter, and I got from Amazon, and they are very affordable as well. Next, I want to show you in the middle of the mirror, I used the 12 inches baking pan from Dollar Tree and also a 12 inches glass mirror I got from Amazon. I spray painted the baking pan in gold color before I attached the mirror onto it. For hanging on the wall, I used the sawtooth hanger, but you definitely can consider other options since the mirror is not that heavy. Now let's check out how this mirror looks. Wow, it's so awesome! This is one of the most beautiful mirrors I have recently made. I'm super excited about it. If you are new to my channel, I'm so happy to have you here. If you also like my video, please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumb up. I really appreciate your support. Let me know your thoughts on this mirror DIY project. Enjoy St. Patrick's Day celebration this week and save some parts if you want to make this mirror. This is the end of today's video. Thank you so so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.